Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd talk a bit about street photography, share some tips and ideas, and look back on some of my own street pictures from the past few years. I recently read some people saying they felt they weren't brave or extroverted enough to do street photography, and I know that in the past I've heard similar thoughts in my own head, but I mostly don't feel that way now. It must be frustrating to feel unable to participate in a genre that you care about, but it made me wonder exactly what kind of street photography they were thinking of, and to offer some reassurance and some tips. I think the thought that you have to be brave to do street photography comes from the idea of putting your camera right into a stranger's face and taking their picture, or at the very least, taking someone's photo, regardless of their proximity, and them confronting you about it. I have to admit that would make me feel a little uneasy too. I'm working on it, but the feeling is still there. I would probably describe myself as a bit of a shy street photographer, but I still manage to take pictures that I'm very happy with. My first and most important piece of advice is that whatever you do, don't avoid the streets just because you're shy or a little apprehensive about starting out. You've got to start somewhere. Get out there and start capturing the world in your own way. If you feel detached, then let your photos capture that. It might well be interesting. The most important thing is to take interesting photos that speak to people, not to conform to other people's ideas of what street photography should be about. So if you want to step back, that's just fine. Back right up and capture a bit of humanity from a distance. You're allowed to do that. Not everyone has to be Bruce Gilden. Now on to a few ideas that have worked for me. Walking around streets of a city can be hard work, so why not take a little inspiration from these few pictures I recently took in Spain. I found a seat in a bar and photographed the world going by for a while. A few of these pictures are more intimate than I would usually feel brave enough to take in the streets. The great thing about it was that the people likely felt they were intruding on me. They may have thought they were in the way of the picture I was taking out of the window even though I was really waiting for them to come along. From some people I got a passing glance inside the bar, but from others there were more revealing glares. My next tip is similarly unstrenuous. I'd like to continue my suggestion that street photography need not be brave by showing these few pictures that I took from moving cars, buses, and with these pictures from India, a tuk-tuk around Bangalore. So maybe get a day pass for a bus around a city and shoot the world to your heart's content. It's unlikely that anyone will notice you, and what does it matter if they do? In just a moment you'll be driven away from the scene. Next I would suggest embracing the idea of photographing the streets from a distance. This is still photography, it's still street photography, and it can still be art. Check out the incredibly atmospheric work of Fan Ho. Often his subjects were tiny, near silhouettes navigating the cities in which they lived. It's often very beautiful, and you don't have to be brave or in anyone's face to emulate that. I'll put a link to one of his books in the description. Another idea is to use a longer lens, like the amazing Soul Lighter often did. His colourful, emotional, and often abstract scenes captured the atmosphere of the streets rather than close-ups of any particular individuals. I had a lot of fun using the Fujifilm 80mm lens around Cambridge and have occasionally used the 50-230mm to zoom. And I love the compressed look you get from a telephoto lens. If it's street photography you care about, you might want to avoid close-up paparazzi style portraits with a longer lens, with the city behind them blown out of focus. But think a bit about your foreground and the background, and interesting scenes can be found that maintain the context and atmosphere of the streets. Depending on your character, you may feel more comfortable stopping and asking someone if you can take their photo. If you're a little shy, try going to a protest or a march. If someone is standing in the street carrying a flag or a sign, they're kind of inviting, even demanding people look at them. They're certainly not going to be offended if you ask them for a picture. These from an Extinction Rebellion demonstration in Cambridge were not candid. 
With the protesters on the other side of the glass, I asked them by silently holding my camera up to them. They nodded, and I took a few pictures. If you ask someone to take their picture, it's not strictly traditional, candid street photography, but it is still documentary, and I think candid can be overrated. I don't think we should be obsessing about ticking boxes to fit into definitions of a genre, just trying to take interesting, truthful pictures of the world. I hope you found some of these ideas helpful. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and checking out my Instagram link in the description. Thank you and see you all soon.